In today's video, we're going to be talking about the best and most effective ways to use Lead Code so you are prepared and have the best possible outcome for these technical interviews, for these internships or job opportunities in 2021. Welcome or welcome back everybody to my channel. My name is Kazim and I post college programming and lifestyle videos here on the channel. And I have a lot of helpful and entertaining content and will have more in the future. So if that sounds like something that you like, feel free to subscribe down below. By implementing some of the same strategies that I talk about in today's video, it has allowed me to land an internship opportunity with the Feng Moolah company for next summer. And I don't say that to brag or anything, I'm just saying that to give you guys some sort of credibility and to let you guys know that what I talk about actually does help and it's gonna be super beneficial for you. So really quickly, for anybody who doesn't know what LeetCode is, LeetCode is just an online website where you can practice coding, you can prepare for interviews, and you can advance your coding skills. And it is a great, great resource for you know these technical interviews. Being that we are online and being that we have been adjusting to this virtual situation for a while, now we have to realize that all of these interviews are taking place online in a coding environment that is very very similar to leak code so now more than ever leak code hacker rank online resources are very very essential for doing well in these virtual environments so how actually do we use leak code to our best benefit and you know study hard in the most effective ways that are going to benefit us the most so let's just get into it the first thing that i want to talk about is answering questions so leak code has over 1600 problems and they're always adding questions to their site but obviously you're in order to do well you're going to have to keep practicing and answering bunches of questions i suggest if you're first starting out with lead code you want to just start off with the easy questions and really master it before you move on to the medium and move on to the hard but even just doing a ton of easy questions is going to be really helpful because lead code easy questions are they're kind of easy but they can get more extensive and get um, more in depth and they just really help you with understanding the basics of different types of problems so i would suggest start off with easy first and start off with problems that have solutions there's problems only code where they that you can solve and run it but they don't have solutions for you to check i would suggest for you to get the most benefit out of problems you start off with the problems that you know will have solutions and you know that you can check how do you actually do this problem in the proper way in the most efficient way and what is like the different ways i can do this problem and you want to make sure that that when you're actually doing these problems easy medium and hard you want to start with the problem first instead of just jumping into the solution and looking at that you want to go from problem to solution but i'm going to talk more extensively about how you should go about a problem so another tip that is going to be essential is to actually time yourself on these problems you can start off with 20 minutes and as you gradually get better go down to 19 to 18 17 just time yourself because you want to give yourself that added pressure and the reason why you want to time yourself is because when you're actually in an interview you have a given amount of time that you can actually solve these problems so the faster that you can solve these problems the better it is for you and the more impressive it looks to your interviewer so when I originally started these problems I had no idea what I was doing so I didn't just jump into timing myself it was gradually after I started understanding different problems and had some sort of foundation but eventually I decided it's time to add that added pressure and to time myself to really give myself the benefits and simulate a real world interview and an online interview so when doing lead code problems it's really essential for you to talk out loud and I literally mean just like talking to your computer and explaining step by step exactly what you're doing because again in the real world in an interview process there you're gonna be talking to your interviewer and you have to explain exactly what is going through your mind um, what are you trying what's your approach what are you trying to do and by you have already been doing that in your lead code problems and talking it out step by step it's going to be much easier and I remember when I first tried to talk out problems it was really difficult because you doing something is much different from explaining it so you have to kind of get used to you talking that out and it might be uncomfortable at first but gradually you'll start getting better at it and it's going to be very useful for you when you're actually doing the road theme. So the next tip is to filter questions. There's tons of different types of questions on lead code and you wanna be able to filter it. This goes from graphs to link lists to binary trees, binary search trees, breadth first search, depth first search. And you wanna be able to practice all of them. So filtering it is gonna be very, very helpful and I'll explain why. When you break up questions into groups and you do multiple types of questions, you start to gain a better understanding of what type of question it is that you're doing. And gradually as you're actually reading the problem and what you have to solve you understand that 
oh, this is a linked list type of question. Oh, this is a binary tree type of question. And you start to group these questions on your own and your approach becomes very similar and you know how to sort of target your solution. If you're doing random problems, that's still gonna be good for you because you're still gonna learn things, but it's more effective to group these types of questions so that you know in the future, because in an interview, you can get any type of question. You just have to be um, sort of good at um, a multiple pool of questions. So being that you've grouped these questions now and studied that way, you can automatically group this problem and say, this is how I'm gonna approach this problem. So basically filtering the different types of questions are gonna be super useful for you and studying and preparing for these actual technical interviews. So when actually solving a problem on leak code, you don't wanna go ahead and run it right off the bat or check the solution. You actually want to try and get your solution correct on the very first try. And the reason why this is gonna be beneficial is because when you're actually in a real life interview, um, whether it's virtual or in person, you can't actually run your code. Most of the time, even in these virtual interviews, they won't allow you to run your code. So it's really just your solution that you have is what you're submitting. So you wanna make sure that it's correct. So while you're studying and preparing using leak code, you wanna actually go through your problem, check for bugs, check for errors, check for any mistakes that you have, and even run test cases manually and input that into your algorithm to make sure that it's correct before you run it because it's gonna be the most effective for you when actually doing the real thing. After, after you do that, obviously you can run in and see, okay, you got it right, or you didn't get it right, where, where do you have errors? But this is gonna be the best way that you can study. So that's why it's gonna be better for you to just try your best to get the solution on the very first try. After you have went ahead and completed a problem, it's great you have a solution, but try your best to see is there another way that you could have solved that problem. And the reason why it's good to do that is because your interviewer is probably gonna say, okay, is there another way that you could have solved this problem? Is there a way that the time complexity could be better, the space complexity, you know, what's a different algorithm that you could have implemented to make this run smoother, stuff like that. So after you solve a lead code problem, it's good that it works and it's good that you have a working solution but always try and look at the solutions that you have. That's why I said it's good to do problems with solutions because sometimes they have multiple ways, multiple solutions that you could have done. So it's always good to know a backup, um, better way that you could have done your problem and it's gonna help you with the real thing. So yes, everything is virtual as of right now with interviews and stuff like that, but I would suggest you taking your problem outside of the computer and trying to implement it on a whiteboard or trying to implement it on a piece of paper I have my whiteboard here. I could actually get it for you guys. This is it right here. And I do leak code problems on my whiteboard because it's really helpful to just take what you understand outside of the computer and try and write it out and you know write it on a whiteboard or write it on a piece of paper because if you can do that then it shows it reiterates that you understand the types of problems and it reiterates that you have a better understanding of what you're doing just trying to solve your problems in different formats is going to be very helpful for you when you're doing leak code problems and you're grinding and trying to do your best so that is everything for this video i really hope that you guys got something out of it and if you did please feel free to drop a like down below and subscribe to my channel for more because I will be coming out with some better content all throughout 2021 and beyond and doing a bunch of helpful videos and entertaining and stuff like that. So I really hope you guys can join the team, join the dream team and join me on my journey. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys at my next one. Peace out.